What's up everyone, I'm Poker Trainer Nick, and in this video, we're gonna be opening up a jumbo card pack as part of the Pokemon 25th anniversary. So in particular, we're gonna be opening up a Sinnoh region pack. So this is the pack that was released as of July, 2021. Um, and this is like the, I don't know, the fourth or fifth set that, that has been released as part of the jumbo cards for the 25th anniversary. Uh, we've managed to get every single one of them so far. Uh, which is a good thing, and hopefully we get them all the way till the end, which is the Kanto region. Um, so uh, this pack actually came from GameStop. Uh, it was limit one per person. Otherwise, I would be having a pack battle with Maria. Uh, but for now, we're just going to be doing it with just me. And in case you're curious, I am wearing a Bidoof shirt. So this is a Bidoof shirt from the Pokemon Center. It's actually pretty cool. Um, I do have a few full art shirts. Uh, I think the Bidoof one might be my favorite over the Charizard and even the Snorlax. Um, so just, just a fun fact there, that's all. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my desk cam. Uh, so this is the Sinnoh region pack. Uh, so it does have some booster packs in there. I'm not sure what they are yet. Uh, this is the binder that we've been storing all of our cards in. Um, so as you can see, I do have a few cards already in there. So let's see if I can adjust this so that way we can see more of it here. So I do have like Score Bunny, things like that. Uh, the last set uh, includes Snivy and uh, Oshawott and uh, Tepig. Um, so as far as what's coming down the pipeline for these Jumbo card packs. Um, so we are on the Sinnoh region. So we have the, so uh, the Hoenn region the Johto region, and then the Kanto region. So these are going to be the, the real winners right here, at least the Johto and the Kanto region. Um, so hopefully I can get the rest of those. Uh, we've been lucky so far, although they are pretty hard to, hard to come by. So hopefully things get a little easier. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to crack this open. We're going to see what we end up with as far as cards. So let's go ahead and crack it open. It actually did open uh, pretty easily. It slid out. Um, as far as the packs go, it looks like we have a Sun and Moon base pack and a Chilling Rain uh, pack. So um, actually pretty interesting because Sun and Moon and Chilling Rain, they're, they're pretty far apart as far as uh, when they were released. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and start with the Jumbo cards before we look at the booster packs. So the Jumbo cards, we have uh, Turtwig. We have a Chimchar. And we have a Pipla. Uh, so these are reproductions of previous cards in the Pokemon Trading Card Game series. They are Jumbo and they do have a 25th anniversary stamp on them. As far as the quality goes, we haven't been uh, blessed with that good of quality cards. Uh, so for example, you might see some, some whitening and some uh, tearing at the edges. Uh, this is common when it comes to Jumbo cards, especially Jumbo cards that are like being shuffled around um, a big foil pack like that. It's not very tight like a typical booster pack. Um, so not bad. I'm going to put these to the side. We'll put them in the binder later. Uh, what we are going to do now is we are going to open up these packs. I am going to start with the Sun and Moon pack. Um, so let's go ahead and crack it open. Oh, it actually opened pretty easy. A lot easier than, than most packs that I open. I am going to keep the code card. Um, so I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, we're going to do the card trick here. So we're going to say one, two, three, four. We're going to flip it over. I have a Fire Energy, Dragonair, Poison Barb. We have a Toracat, Wingle. I see something shiny in the back there, so it looks like we probably got a big hit, or at least something decent. Uh, we have a Stuffle, the classic Poplio. I don't think this is the, no, it was a Piplup. Uh, a Zubat, a Shelder. Uh, Shinotic, and we have an Umbreon GX, uh, so not a bad hit. So any evolution is a good card in my book, so uh, not bad at all. Um, and I think Maria is actually going to be pretty pleased with this. It's a little, it's a little scratched up in the back, uh, but overall, not bad. I'm always, I'm always a fan of those classic uh, cards. Even though this isn't a true classic, it's still an evolution, so it, it still counts to me. Um, so let's go ahead and put those to the side. We are going to open up our second pack. Uh, but before we do, I want to go ahead and hit out a plug here. Uh, so if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. 
Uh, if you're having success with these jumbo card packs, or you're really excited about what's coming next, like celebrations, uh, let me know about it in the comments. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back here and open up this Chilling Rain pack. So we've actually had some really good hits come out of Chilling Rain. Um, so compared to Battle Styles, Chilling Rain has come through for us. We've gotten all of our desirable cards so far. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can continue down that trend. Uh, I am going to get rid of the code card as soon as I can open up this pack. And we're going to say one, two, three, four. And we have a leaf energy or a grass type energy. Scroll of the skies. Agatha. Reboot. Nice classic there. Nice starter. Atena. Sphiel. Cast form. Heracross. Uh, Ralts. Here's my Reverse Hollow Mareep, and we have a Zangoose Non-Hollow. So it looks like the hit of today uh, is this Umbreon GX, uh, but you know what? Honestly, I got, I, I was in more in it for these Jumbo cards because I have to complete my 25th anniversary Jumbo card set, and I am on my way. I just have to worry about getting three more sets, and then I can sleep easy at night knowing that I uh, got everything from that set. And then Celebrations is going to be a big hitter. I'm going to get a lot of packs from uh, that set. And hopefully we get something good. Maybe we get that Charizard, Charizard or at least uh, the Blastoise or Venusaur. I believe those are coming out as well. Uh, but uh, until next time, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day.